Good morning. In addition to our mass intentions this day, let us also remember our first and frontline responders, our local faith communities, family, and friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, gathered this day to give thanks and praise to Almighty God, let us once again open our minds and hearts to his ongoing call to mercy, healing, and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of mercy and compassion, send your Spirit to strengthen us in our desire to live the example of your Son. As you strengthen us in faith, may we be active in the good works of your Son. Through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, and all the countries to which you have scattered them, because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, our compassion and forgiveness. Yet we reveled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord, our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will be in return measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord.
Many years ago, I remember being with a group of friends, and the focus of the first half of today's gospel came up in conversation. Of particular note was the Lord's instruction, stop judging and you will not be judged. One of my good friends chimed in and said, but it's so fun to judge. Really? Perhaps if you're a judge at a county fair, but not in the life of faith. And yet it seems like one of the favorite pastimes of the human heart and often of Christians is judging. It's far too easy to make judgments, especially snap judgments, often condemning without mercy, or at the very least, without a fair hearing from the other person, lacking all empathy and compassion. The Lord is crystal clear once again as he speaks to all Christians today in the gospel. Be merciful, stop judging, stop condemning, forgive, and you will be forgiven. My sisters and brothers, with faith-filled and humble hearts, we offer our prayers and petitions to God this day. That the church, its leaders and people, may always be faithful stewards of God's creation. We pray to the Lord. That all government leaders may honor and respect the service of all veterans, providing for their needs long after their military service is concluded. We pray to the Lord. That all who care for the sick and the dying may be blessed and strengthened in their ministry, always showing respect and compassion for those entrusted to their care. We pray to the Lord. That all who have died may be forever blessed in the peace of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. And for those prayers, hopes and petitions we hold this day in the silence of our hearts. O oh God, strengthen our faith and increase our outreach to your people, especially the poor and oppressed. May our lives reflect each day the love and service of Christ. We offer our prayer this day and always, through Christ our Lord. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, and the sacrifices of our own lives, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, by your grace, you enable us to come to these sacred mysteries with renewed minds and hearts. May this Eucharist continue to change us, making us more like Christ, your Son. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given us your children this sacred time of year, for the renewing and purifying of our minds and hearts. By the power of your Spirit, we learn to control our desires, so that as we encounter the things of this passing world, we learn to value and hold on to those things that will last forever. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and from the world's beginning are always at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you are holy. Look upon our offering, and pour out upon it the power of your Spirit, that it may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have become your sons and daughters. Though we once were lost, and not able to approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and was nailed to the wood of the cross for our salvation. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, which would become the everlasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood that would be shed upon the cross, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and lasting peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his return in glory, we offer you, our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles you and the human race. Compassionate Father, look kindly on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as we share in this one bread and one chalice, we may be gathered into the one body of Christ, who heals every division. Keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with your servant, Pope Francis, Alberto, the Bishop of this diocese, 
Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom. Until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. United this day in voice and heart, and joining Christians throughout the world with faith, hope, and confidence, we once again echo the prayer of the Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church gathered here this day, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My sisters and brothers, for our world this day, for those who are near and dear to us, we offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ My sisters and brothers, at this time I invite you to pray the prayer for spiritual communion.
Let us pray. Lord, may your sacrament of life bring us the fullness of salvation and continue to make our lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the grace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remaining with you now and forever. Our celebration is ended. Let us go forth each day to love and serve the Lord.